Yep, and it's also our pick of the day, so make sure you check it out uh, a little bit later on. <laughs> There's Liz, but right here, right now, let's pump it up. Final number two on Pump It Up as we take you on an aerial tour of our massive arena. Look, there's me waving from the box and... Ooh, just missed me. I'm Andy Collins. These are our Pump It Up bouncers. And this is Pump It Up. Now, this is the last of our semi-finals and there's just one place left in our grand final next week where two teams will be battling out to become the first ever Pump It Up champions of this new millennium. And what a fantastic prize they can win. Here's Rich to tell you all about it. They're only one step away from this glorious holiday in Australia. They could be diving, they could be ballooning, they could be whitewater rafting. It's so close you can smell the kangapoo. I mean ruse. As you can see, viewers, a truly fantastic prize beats a weekend in Margate any day. Now, we expect our teams to work for that prize, and coming up in the next 30 minutes, we've got some of the most physically and mentally changing games you've ever seen in your life. So today, we're going to be giving you a few tips and a few problems to solve to get your brain working a bit faster. I've got it for you, Andy, OK? Good on, I like this, go on. I've got a bag of 20 sweets. I take five and put five in my pocket, what, then what, I what, give you five. What flavour sweets are they? No, that, that's just irrelevant. It, it, it is important, you see, because I don't like licorice, but I do like sherbet lemons, am I? Andy, it doesn't matter if it's a problem, it's irrelevant, they're not real sweets. Well, it is a problem if they're not real sweets, though, you know. Andy, look, you obviously can't cope with difficult problems, just forget it. So I'm not getting any sweets now? No. Oh, great. Oh, just great. I start to dribble, I'm getting all excited, you think you're giving Andy, me sweets? Andy, introduce the teams, Andy. Oh. I guess the sweets they have on. All right. Good. OK, in the blue corner, we have a team of five players. Let's make some noise for the Handy Bandy! <laughs> The Handy Bandits are a team of fives players who all go to the same school. Now, it may not look the most energetic of sports, but when you're working together in such a close space, you need coordination and understanding of others around you. And that's exactly what this team have got, as they have proved time and time again in the Pump It Up heats and quarterfinals. Working together is what this lot do well. They beat the Lidwater Raiders in the quarters and the Maidenhead Hotshots in their heat, really leaving both teams trailing in their wake. And Dash, he has a bit of celebrating on his knees. These guys could go far. Unfortunately, since we last saw them, Molly's broken her wrist and is being replaced by Adam. They're up against the Wushu Warriors, who are a different kettle of fish altogether. These are martial arts experts. They have great poise and balance. It's not all brute force with this lot. They're the thinking man's team. They have controlled aggression and the ability to channel it when it counts. There is, however, one problem. Their driving really isn't up to much, as they proved in both the heats and the quarterfinals. But when it came to the Gungathon, with bones aching, mind over matter kicked in, and they proved they had what it took to be victorious. They originally qualified as fastest losers from the first heat, but in the quarterfinals beat the party eagles conclusively to claim a place in the semis, one step away from the final. Right, guys, get your brains nice and sharp, and he's about to explain the rules. OK, guys and girls, the rules are quite simple. The teams will play four games. If they win one of those games, they can turn off a gun zone in our final game, the gun Javon. So just say they win all four games, they're going to be very clean indeed. Although if they lose all four, well, they're going to be very messy indeed. Should you give them a chance to deactivate some guns? Yeah. Here's round one, fireball. Ooh, flashy hand movements now. What a great way to start this second semi-final. Fireball, terrific game. You're bunted together in pairs. You've got to run all the way down the course. Through the guns, here it comes. Then tie yourself together in a four and get back. And straight away, the handy bandits, that's Shanine and Ben who are first. They're over and nearly at the platform, but their team are stuck and so are all the Wushu Warriors. And look at this, Shanine and Ben, great teamwork there, helping over Adam and Dash. And it's the handy bandits who'll get to the platform first with the Wushu Warriors. Warriors, Morella and Jonathan still stuck behind that lip and the handy band is on their way back and everybody goes down as they cross. These inflatables really slippy when the gunge is on them. And the Wushu Warriors tying themselves together as a four, but they've got a bit of ground to make up. There's hope for that lip. They just all fall together. The handy band is what a pile of handy band. 
found it. Through the Gunge again. Oh, Ralph, he'll be looking forward to getting them. But they really are stuck on their hands and knees with the Wushu Warriors making up a bit of ground. Over this next little limb, there it comes. Just what you need when you're all tied together. This is great stuff. And they're really struggling now, the Handy Bandits. But the Wushu Warriors, they're completely stuck at the other end of the court. Both teams not moving at all. They've just got to get into that. And look at this. They're just getting over now. Well done. But look here at the Handy Bandits. At last, they're in the maze. All tied together. I think that's Shanine and Ben at the front. Yeah, it is. Adam and Dash behind. Quite a lead now for the Handy Bandits. Out they come. Ben and Shanine leading them. But look. Oh, Adam and Dash are down. But it doesn't matter. Because Shanine and Ben can see the button waiting. They set off Fireball to take the first round. Well, look at this. Adam and Dash went down. But it didn't matter because Shanine and Ben only had one thing on their mind. Bang! Pressing that button. Woo. Oh, yeah, yes! Yes! Right, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Come down, come down. Blues, well done. Well done. Because those the reds are good. The reds are good. But well done! Oh, what a great start! Look at the state of you, Dash. Covered. Lovely. Right. Okay, we get a chance now. Uh, to deactivate a uh, gun zone. Let's have a look. Now it's semi-final time, so it's uh, Russian roulette. You have to put your hand in here and choose a gun zone. So who's going to put their hand in? Dash. Okay, don't look. Just put out one. Ping pong ball. And what colour is it? Yellow. It is the yellow gun zone <laughs> that we are deactivating. Wonderful. The yellow one is what you've turned off. Um, we're in the star. Well done. Let's go over to Fern. You didn't even make it to the end that time, did you guys? No. Imogen, you got a bit tangled up at the end again, didn't you? Yeah. Is my that... foot got caught in there. I couldn't get it out. That last barrier always gets you, yeah. doesn't it? Never mind, guys. Good try. Now, I'll tell you what, I love this game. So you always like you're having such a laugh on it. Is it good fun? Yeah, especially when you get there. Yeah. And you've got to try and get over that big pillar thing. It's just hysterical. <laughs> oh, brilliant, guys. You did really well. Bad luck. We can do it in round two. What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Here it is. Round two. Now, if you want to win our academies, you need two vital ingredients. One, you need to be able to work as a team, and two, you need to be mentally switched on. What our teams have to do are to get these blocks across this pole over to their teammates. Then, oh, hello, let's. What are you doing? Building a jigsaw. Very good. Keeping the mind switched on. Good, good. Anyway, back to the game. Once they've got the blocks over... Ooh. Well, it was a stupid place to do a jigsaw anyway, was it? Don't look at me like that. So, they get the blocks across the pole, and then they hand them on to their teammates. Then they need to build themselves an arch, stand on top of it, and pull this chain. Now, the winners are the first team to pull the chain and sound the hooter. You ready? Let's play Arch Enemies! Away we go on Arch Enemies, and it's interesting to note that all the teams have pioneered this sitting back to back on the pole technique to pass the blocks across. And that's exactly what Shanine and Dash are doing there for the Blues, and Morella and Selena are doing for the Reds. Makes it much easier to give it to Adam and Imogen on the scaffolding, who can chuck it down to Ben and Jonathan to build the bridge. And the Handy Bandit's doing well there, Adam reaching out, and that is Jonathan with his first block for the Wushu Warriors. Gets it in place. Look, all these blocks have got crosses on or little signs and these have got to be matched up to make the arch work. But look at the old handy bandits. They've just about got all their blocks across now, which is great for Ben. I can think he's got all of his down there now. All he's got to do is build the arch. Look at this. He's got four already. On goes the fifth one. What a great performance from Ben. He just jumps up. He's going to pull the chain. They're going to take two rounds. What a great performance from the Handy Bandits! Wushu Warriors are nowhere! The Handy Bandits deservedly celebrating in style. What a great start, what a great performance. Look, they're passing those over very smoothly. Morella and Selena for the Reds got in a little bit of trouble, weren't quite as quick. You see, that's much smoother from Shanine and Dash, which enabled Ben to get up and pull. Pretty fireworks! Good quality structure as well. Yeah, no problem. Easy? Yeah. <laughs> Easy, no problem. The team did ever so well passing the blocks over. The good yeah, system good. worked wonders. You get to uh, delve in and do a gun tank. Now, you did the building so you could choose. Close your eyes. Now, let's look. Shuffle. That's it, Gwen. Which one? Yeah. Okay. We're turning off the white gunge zone. Over to Fern. Well done. Now, God, you've never played this game before, have you, Selena? No. Is it a tough one? Yeah, um, we tried our best, but 
Never mind. Never mind. Do you want a fizzy hard thing in the arch together at the end? We didn't seem yeah. too good there. It's all the wrong bits. Oh, never mind. Look, I even wore my Wishy Warrior shirt for you guys. Look, how about that? We're going to do it, aren't we? Yeah. What do you reckon? Round three, this is the one? Yeah. Here we go. Well, frankly, they're going to need to do it, Fern, because look. They've got absolutely no gun zones eliminated. And the handy bandits who have taken two rounds have eliminated white and yellow. Looking good for a place in the final. Okay, teams, pay attention. This game requires physical and mental skills. Now, here is a scooter. What's this? Scooter. Can't hear you. Scooter. That's better. You take the scooter and your pizza and you deliver it to me here, lean and taut like an athlete, and to Fern. Obviously, this isn't Fern because her hips are bigger than that. Anyway, you do four laps, you deliver four pizzas. Once you've done that, you cross the finishing line. First team to do that are the winners. Any questions? Yes, Selena. How do you play the game? Why do I bother? Well, she needn't have worried, actually, because during this round, Selena had to have her wrist checked by our nurse. Her place was taken by Polar. And it's go! 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 I've done that for a while. It still feels good. Meanwhile, Morella, she just gets in the lead for the Wushu Warriors with Adam close behind her. Time to drop off the beat. Oh! Oh, did you see that from Mirella? What a great technique. Is that allowed? I'll just check in my rule book. Yes, it is. Fantastic stuff from the Wushu Warriors. Mirella with quite a lead as she hands over to Jonathan, who jumps on his pizza. Adam, he hands over to Shanine. Oh, the handy bandit's got a bit of time to make up here. Off she goes. How's Jonathan doing? Is he going to use the same technique as Mirella? Yes, indeed he is. Fern's not sure what to make of it, but it's all above board. It's in the rules. No problem for the Wushu Warriors as Jonathan screams round the corner to hand and over the third player, Imogen. There they are enjoying those pizzas as Imogen sets. Oh, but she dropped her pizza. Either kicked it a bit early or it slipped out. Bouncer helps her. Meanwhile, is there any sign of Ben for the handy bandit? Here he is. He's got a chance to make up a bit of time now on Imogen as she swoops round the corner to hand over her pizza to first. Well, the Wushu Warriors have got a team tactic and it's paying dividends. Ben, you see, he's losing valuable time stopping to hand that over to Andy. Imogen, down the back straight now. There's only one more person to go for each team. It's Paola for the Reds and Dash for the Blues. Here's Paola just standing in for Selena in this round. Off she goes. Is she going to make an impact? And Dash is going to take over from Ben. Here he is. Can he catch Paola? Pressure's on Paola. She's a late entry to the team. Does she know about this little flicking technique? She certainly does. Off to a tee. Off goes the pizza. And around she goes. Great stuff from the Wushu Warriors. They take the round. They're making a game of it. Good stuff. Well, look at this. Flick number one. They've obviously talked about this before. Flick number two. What a beautiful action. Fern was a bit confused, but I can confirm it's all above board. And the Wushu Warriors technique has given them the round. Great stuff. Now, Selena, she's just getting her wrist checked out, and she's hurt her wrist. So, Paolo, you're our secret weapon. How yep. was it? It was great. I was a bit nervous, it? but it's okay. You did fantastically. You were kicking the pigs. I had to run about half a mile to get my food, mate. How was it, Imogen? Uh, it was fine, except for I sort of drop my pizza there. I don't like to run after it, but well yeah. done, guys. You did really well. Uh, you get to activate a gun zone. So who wants to pick, have you guys? I will. You want it, Imogen? Put yeah. your hand in, mate. Oh, I'm so sorry if it's bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Go on, put it in, mate. Please. Where, Where is me? it? <laughs> Please. Papa! Oh, yay! <laughs> well done, guys. Over to Andy. Look at Dashie's face here. It says it all, doesn't it? Look. Look at that. What went wrong, mate? I don't know what went wrong. I'll tell you what went wrong, mate. They got ahead and you couldn't catch them up, could you? No. No. We need to put our finger out and try a little bit better as we move on to the next round. Blown to bits. But it's good to see the Wushu Warriors making a game of it. At last, they take a round and get rid of that horrible purple zone. Andy Bandit's in a good position, though. Still two zones gone. All to play for. Let's play the next round. It's blown to bits. 
Now, before we play Blown to Bits, Mike from Mavericks here, you all right? No, I'm bad for it. I'm mad for it, me. Good, good. Now, I'm going to test your intelligence right, okay. by giving you a bit of a problem to solve, okay? Right, okay. Now, I've got a cake, and yeah. I'm going to divide it into six pieces. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what flavour's cake? But that's not important. No, it is, because I love cake. You know I like cake. Oh, I know you oh, like cake, you, you like cake. I like you cake. like cake. You like cake. You like cake. But it's not important, guys. There's, there's no cake. It's no cake? No. And there's no Mike McLean. You didn't drag me all the way oh. here. There's no cake. You know oh, I like cake. Give up. Here's round four. It's Blown to Bits. Bowser's got cake. They've got cake. They've got cake. Cake. Good news about Selena, she's been given a clean bill of health by our medics and can take her place back alongside the rest of her team. This is blown to bits then, the teams have to upend their power rollers and burst four balloons spread across the arena. Oh, and the Handy Bandits nearly get one there, as up go the Wushu and the Handy Bandits, they've got one each. Great start for both teams, really got to work together now, up it goes, is there another one there? Ooh, just missed, they're quite spread out, really need to make these power rollers travel, and the Blues get another one, that's two to them, and only one to the Wushu Warriors, and across the arena they go, wow, and away goes another one for the Reds, that's two all, and oh, the Handy Bandits, really, look, just brushing it and finally getting it, as the Wushu Warriors bounce off them in a vain attempt to get their balloon, and up they go, and they've got another one as well, it's pretty much neck and neck now, as it's one all along, oh, great move from the Wushu Warriors to take it, seemingly from nowhere the power roller leapt up and got that final balloon, they deserve to celebrate in style. Yes guys, we're doing it, we won the last game, how was that, was that yeah, right? That was brilliant. You're still right now, you're yeah, better. All better. Brilliant. Jonathan, how did you enjoy that? That was fantastic. Were you quite tired at the end there? Yeah, very much. You managed to get the last one just in the nick of time, that was fantastic. They looked like they were beating the Wushus, but they got one, and in a fantastic end-over-end -end move, they beat the Handy Bandits to it to claim that last balloon. Who's going to be the chosen one to pick the next colour? Hi, I think is it, it you? is me. It is you, go on then Imogen. <laughs> oh, I'm one. so sorry if it's horrible. You did I'm a good sorry. job last time, mate, go on. It's going to be... Blue team, we were doing so well, we were popping the balloons, and then Adam here decided he wanted to trip everybody up and jump on top of them. Why, mate? I just, I tripped and people fell on me. People fell on you? So it yeah. wasn't your fault? Is that what you're saying? No, it's their fault. Right. Now, we move on to the Gunjafon, and you have the fastest recorded time on the big course. So it's time to get ourselves ready for action as we play Gunjafon. And this is what's in store for both teams. The Wushu Warriors, who won the last two rounds, eliminated two zones, but they're still going to get hit twice by old Ruthless Ralph. The Handy Bandits, they get that mucky purple and the sticky green. But here it is, the Gunjathon, over that first hill. Attack that Gunj Lake. Remember to take those bridges with you and then fight your way through Pencil Forest. Looks easy, but not when you're covered in Gunj. And if that wasn't enough, turn the corner and see Ruthless Ralph poised above you as you go down Gunj Gully and take those hits which you know you deserve. If you can make it to the end, then turn the corner and face the breakthroughs. Smash through here. Remember you've got bridges with you. Not that easy. Get across that final Gunge Lake and there is the big hill waiting for you. Whichever team can get up here first is going to claim a place in the final. Oh, that hardly works. OK, Blues, here we are. Janine, you win this. You're in the final. How badly do you want to go to the final? Very badly. Very badly. How badly do you want to go to Australia? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we're playing for here, people. Listen, you've done really well. It's two all in the gun zones. Let's get it on and let's win. Get in position. Now, uh, guys, we're sitting here once again, so Imogen, does it get more nerve-wracking each time you do it? Yeah, it does so much. You're feeling quite confident, though? Yeah. Now, you won the toss, guys, didn't you? Yeah. And you've taken the inside lane. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Now, you want to dedicate this one of the Gunjathon to someone, don't you? Yeah. Who is it? It's your martial arts group? Yeah. yeah. Big Mike, this is for you. All right, guys, good luck. And tradition? One, two, three. three. We should warriors! Let's do it, guys. in the final and the chance to win the holiday of a lifetime it's the Wushu Warriors against the Handy Bandits in an even Stevens Gunjathon where they both got to take two lots of Gunj in Gunj Alley and it's pretty much neck and neck as the teams cross that first
Dunstall, I was going to say quite well, but Morella took a bit of a dive there. And here come the final two Wushu Warriors across that bridge. Good work there, look, holding the bridge. Unfortunately, Imogen took a bit of a dive. Meanwhile, the handy bandits, they are in the Pencil Forest. Look like Shanine leading the way there. And yet it is, out she comes through Pencil Forest and in to Gunge Gully. Shanine leading the way for the handy bandits. Is she going to take a hit from Ruthless Ralph? She's got a bridge and there she goes. Great hit there from Ruthless Ralph. And that purple stuff is killer. You get covered in that, you're in real trouble. Good tactic there, throwing the bridge. It's Jonathan who's in the lead for the Wushu Warriors. He's only a little bit behind Shani. Good work here from the Handy Bandits as they pass the bridges through. I think that's a good tactic. A good slide down, you see. Get the bridges there first as Shanine just misses a gunge. And that can get you a little bit of a head start. Meanwhile, Jonathan slides down with the bridge for the Reds. It's not too close. Uh, the team's getting quite spread out there. But Shanine does have a bridge and so does Jonathan. And they're pretty much neck and neck. But Shanine, bang, through the breakthrough. Jonathan, bang, through the breakthrough. The rest of the team's still stuck in Gunge Gully. They both had to take two lots of guns, remember. Janine and Jonathan clearing the polystyrene out of the way. Here come the rest of the handy bandits as through comes Jonathan. With the bridges coming through for the blue team. Who's there to help Jonathan get his bridges through? The rest of the team seem to be stuck still in Gunge Gully. That's no use to him. They've got to really catch up. Andy, he loves it though. Through come the bridges. I think both teams have got their bridges through. And the Blues are at the second Gunge Pool just ahead. They've got both their bridges there. I think it's Dash first who's going to build the bridge. Both those bridges are going to go in pretty much together. Who can get across them first? One bridge in for the Blues, one in for the Reds. Selena, she's still stuck back in Gunge Gully. As the Handy Bandits build their bridge, and across goes Dash. Beautifully done. Across goes Adam. Very well done. Two of the Handy Bandits across. Just Ben and Shanine left. And the Reds have got a little bit behind now as they try to build that bridge. I think that's Jonathan going across first. The Reds falling behind a bit as Adam makes his way to the top of the slope. Grit and determination. He's not too slippy. Done well considering he's taken two loads of guns in Gunge Gully. He's made it to the top. It looks like Ben's not far behind him. Good stuff here from the Handy Bandits. What about the Wushu Warriors? Adam's up. Although he nearly lost it and slipped back down then. Ben's up as well. No one up for the Reds yet. Two up for the Blues. At last, Jonathan's up. Come on, you Reds. You've got to pull it out now. And Shanine being pulled up there as Morella struggles up to the top for the Reds. That's the second person up for the Reds. And two up for the Blue. Whoa, hey, look at that. What a great arrival there from Janine. They only need Dash. Now he goes on his knees in his traditional start to take the final. Well done, you handy bandits. They're in the final. They've got the chance to play for Australia. Brilliant stuff. Chase, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? We're through to the final! Yeah! What a great performance from the Handy Bandits in this Gunjathon. It was really, really close. But when they got to the slope, they had what it took. Adam was up first, closely followed by Ben. And look out, here comes Shanine. Quite an arrival. And Dash up on his knees at the end. Worthy winners. They celebrated in style because they know it's a short step. To Australia. Well done, you handy bandits. Oh, well done, guys. You were such a tough team. You're so strong, and I'm really, really sad for you guys. You did a brilliant job, though. Well done, guys. Thank you. It doesn't really matter because when I'm rich and famous, I'll pay for all of us to go to Australia. Certainly, well, I know you're all going to be amazing martial artists when you get older. You're all fantastically, brilliantly fit, and you did a brilliant job. Well done, guys. All right, well done. Don't you worry, won a fantastic mate. prize. Rich, what is it? What great sportsmen. They fully deserve these prizes. A pump it up bag and hat and of course the shockproof pump it up watch. That's not all though, it's the semi-final. You get this rather stylish pump it up coat. Nice. Oh, what a wicked wonderful. We now know who both teams are in our grand pump it up final next week. There's the Killer King Carters versus the Handy Balance. It's going to be brilliant. Watch out for it, guys. Now we hope today's show about mental ability has been of some use to you. Bandy, every problem I've given you, you've, you haven't understood. I'm not worried about little brain teams just then. I've been working on the perfect gun in my research lab. I've used ingredients from the Far East.
spices from India, and the secret coating from Peckham, which I'm not going to tell you about. This will stick to any child's clothes or face. It's disgusting stuff. Have you got proof of this, Andy? No, but I will in a few seconds. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs>